Orange juice. Bean. Croissant. Fried egg. Sausage. Fried egg. Pancakes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I am recording a mofo classic. If you haven't seen any of the Bargain Bin Toys episodes, I've put a playlist of all of them at the top of the description below. Today, we will be opening up junk that I have either found at Walmart or my local awful store, most of which has come straight from a bargain bin or has been sitting on the shelf for so long that no one has bought it. Um, I, t <laughs> I have no idea what we're opening up. I just know that it's awful. So, first up, what is this? A narwhal with its innards that can be removed. Oh, nope. He has a kawaii bear inside him. Oh, of course. You can turn this nonsense into a hanger. It's the Modge Modge Gang! And you get a free sticker. 70 to collect and trade. No thank you. We should have 32 items here, give or take. Uh, next we're gonna be opening up Pocket Watch. Ryan's World, Ryan's toy review as a robot, and then we get a mystery figure. If you're not aware, this child has a very big YouTube channel. And now, all of his toys grace the shelves of Walmart. It's very, very lightweight. And he comes complete with a whiskey flask to get him through the day of recording videos forced by his parents. Yeah. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Woo I'm so excited. What mystery Ryan will we receive today? We have Ryan. This is just a human child. Wait, no, it's Pirate Ryan. Or Ryan wearing a Pirate Ryan shirt. There's no pirate hat or anything like that. Excellent. Next, we've got Mystery Minecraft minifigure. Dig in. I would use that phrasing as an excuse to feed this to my child and sue Walmart. Uh, craft your collection. We have all these different possible outcomes. Oh, this is a Greek mythology box. All right, very cheap feeling. Let's see what we get from this. Of course, we're inside the typical black trash bags. We're gonna slide this sucker out. Who did we? Wow, it's Medusa Cube! Next, we have Unicorn Balloon Ball. Blows up to four times larger. Can you guys please sign a waiver verifying that your age is four plus? I don't want to get sued for the graphic content inside Unicorn Ball. Here we have Unicorn Balloon Ball. Let's give it a blow. Ah, he comes with a, a special straw syringe. You just insert that into the horse. And unicorn ball to attack. Oh, okay. It's automatic sealed. Look at these little legs. Look at. Oh, that is terrifying. Jesus Christ. It looks like one of those deviant art Vore comics. He's been eating one too many carrots, I think. Can he be popped? Oh, I hate popping things. Yeah. Next, Spider Man's decapitated head. He's what they call on the streets. A candy character. All right, let's see what inedible junk we get out of this. Pop him open. Oh, you get a bunch of different things. First up, the cheapest and least creative thing anyone can do with these cheap toys. Just shove a string on something. You can make anything into a product. Um, and then we have some candy shaped like Spider-Man's head. That's actually a lot more effort than I thought. Let me just try some. Mmm, it's got that chemical, cheap, plastic taste that I've come to expect. The head is more reminiscent of a big, scary, grey alien, I think. Next in line, you get a Spider-Man sticker. And lastly, you get two advertisements for toys that are better than the ones you get in this product. That's a little bit of a blue ball. Or I guess you can get these, but instead, I got this shit. Next, I think this is the worst one of them all. I don't even know how this is like, okay. So this was a dollar. I think this may have actually been in one of those stores that actually sells bootleg toys. I think this is the character from Despicable Me or something. That is terrifying. Yeah, that's, that's about as bootleg as you get. You can tell by the paint job. I legit don't think this is just cheap. I think this is fake. Um, it's got a peg on the base. 
yet. There's actually no hole on the bottom. That is sealed off. Maybe they use this, like, I'm not joking. I think, like, that's not a hole. I think they've maybe used the same mold as an existing real one. Um, but the hole is just solid plastic. Next, uh, this one, at least something of a nice brand that I'm interested in. This one could be okay. Mario Odyssey. We can collect all the different hats from Mario Odyssey. Mascots. Six to collect. Warning, please do not eat the hats. Yeah, we'll see about that. You're not the boss of me. All right, the grand reveal. Ooh, I can feel- Oh! What? This is actually not bad. I mean, it's a very generic thing, but that is decent quality. And inside here, I don't- What are you supposed to be putting these on? Just anything? We've got Mario's mustache. There you go. That's canon now. Oh, it's to personalize your drink bottle. You know how they made those Mario Pikachu cards that were pretty cool? Well, now we've got a Mario Pikachu of our own. Okay, I actually like that. See, I'm treating these boys right. I mean, I did try to suffocate them at the start, but now Pikachu has a hat. Yeah. Next, we have a mystery cube. Oh, I think this one has another hanger in it. The little big Bites, series one. Oh, that looks interesting. Take the paper off. It's not gonna take my finger off, is it? It's a wild animal, shipped straight from the zoo. You put your finger in and, and, and. Hold on, I think we need to set him up. This has, well maybe it's not a hanger. This is, yep, yeah, okay, no, that's definitely a hanger. But I think this is like his little treat. It's a little mouse, and I'm getting anthrax on myself. I don't like that. Okay, how is this supposed to work? Is it supposed to close? I can't- Ah! You can't put enough pressure to make that work. I don't understand it! You're legitimately supposed to have enough pressure to push that, but you can't really do that by dangling this in his mouth. It's a very shitty design, but once you get him on there, you can- Hang him. Kind of looks like a boogie. Next! More Modge Modge. 72 collect and trade. Is this the same thing that we opened up at the start? Or is this like a different variation? I feel like it was different packaging, right? Ooh, we got two things here. These are just, it's just a squishy thing. Little uh, o octopus and um, a, a butterfly. You can probably throw them at the wall, maybe? This supposed to stick, no? Yeah. I feel like anyone can just make anything they want now. This is garbage. I don't mind the Modge Modge stickers though. Next, we have cards. Very thick pack. Fantasy pack. What brand is this? Fantasy? Oh, Cards Against Humanity. Okay. You can buy Cards Against Humanity packs? Man, the amount of stuff that I have in my possession without... This is very strange. I was not expecting this. Um... Okay, you beef out your Cards Against Humanity deck with some fantasy ones. The card Neil Gaiman wrote, three owls at a time. Going on an epic adventure and learning a valuable lesson about friendship. True love's kiss, eternal darkness, the all-seeing eye of Sauron, gender equality, accidentally conjuring a legless horse that can't stop ejaculating. Hodor! Dinosaurs who wear armor and you ride them and they kick ass. Freaky pan dimensional sex with a demigod bathing naked in a moonlit grove, kneeing a wizard in the balls, shitting in a wizard's spell book, and jizzing in his hat. Heck, okay, I've had enough. Next up, one surprise babies hidden inside crib. Collect them all. They're little fluffy animals in skirts. Lil Woodsy's Mason Batat Inc. Made in China, of course. Uh, Woodsies.com. I won't be paying that website a visit. And we have a crib for your baby. Let's see what baby we get. Ah, oh, I hate the feeling of them. That's actually pretty cute. I really hate this kind of velvet feeling stuff. I don't know exactly what material it is. I hate it. He's like a bootleg Tom Nook. Uh, he's got a baby bib on and a diaper. Her name is Prim the Fox. I think you need to go to the naughty corner, Prim. Next, Hello Neighbor. Didn't this start as like an indie game or something? I think I saw that they're turning this into a TV show or something like that. Hey, 
Good work on the success, I guess. I will condemn you to an eternity in hell, though, for making a hanger. Hello, neighbor. And I, I guess that's... Is that the neighbor? I don't know. I've never played the game. That looks very menacing, though. Next, we've got some Super Mario. Ooh, looks good until you see it's a fucking hanger. Stop. Who do we have? Donkey Kong. Ooh, that's a uh, pretty good quality, though. Ooh, that's really thick. And that is a very clean back. This is just visually appealing. I hate everything it is, but for what they've done with it, I give it a thumbs up. Let's see what character we get in this one. I think they're all going to be very thick. Yeah. Ooh. And also, fittingly, the two thickest boys in the universe. DK and Bowser. That looks like some sort of retro Bowser. Oh! I think I like the back better than the front. Each one has, like, their own little character logo as well, and this is all, like, kind of raised. Those are definitely some of the better quality hangers we've opened up in these episodes. What else are we getting here? Ooh, character cards. Okay. And then we've got uh, a piece on the back. We've got Bowser here. We can uh, build like a full puzzle mini poster type thing. You know what? Not bad. The bar was very low, but you raised it. Next, this one. Actual real Lego. Nothing bootleg. We've actually got real Lego. Harry Potter. Or it's like a mixed thing. We've got Harry Potter and also Fantastic Beasts. I know they're the same universe, but they're sort of just mixing all the characters together. Let's see who we got. Put his legs on. Put his head on. Hair. Whatever this is. Is this a crossbow? What is this? That's something. And then we have the Tri-Wizard Cup. Uh, so this is something Diggory. What's his name? Hot Wheels! Oh yeah, we're getting manly now! Real men like cars. Series 4, mystery models. Ooh, you can get a rare one. And a tiger. Can you, is that a thing? Or he's just running by the cars. Car plus sticker. The shit show combo. Let's see. All right, let's take a look at the sticker first. Well, I don't know what I expected. There's a car sticker. Woohoo! It's the diesel boy. I guess we're going to get the corresponding car. Is this the... Diesel Boy? Man, I used to love Hot Wheels as a kid. Yeah! Hot Wheels! Minecraft! Back to Minecraft! Is this the same one? Build a mini. Ooh, I think this is a little bit different. Is it implying we have to assemble them? Turn to the top, we've got the Redstone series. How many series is there? It's inside a Redstone block. Crack open the trash bag. Ooh, is that diamond? That... What? What on earth? I don't... I feel like this is just a way of not having to assemble your toys before you sell them. Look at this shit. This is a mess. He's supposed to pull the parts out, put his helmet on. I think that's something. Is that it? I can't tell what's a limb and what's just plastic excess. I think that's a hand. Oh, why is that so hard? Yeah, that's a swing and a miss. I don't think anyone wants to assemble this and it's all janky. It doesn't fit. That's not anything. That's just a piece of plastic. And what's with this excess like bit of beard hair? Yeah, you ain't catching me assembling that. Here's his little axe though. Next, we have Bushies. Man, I hope I get Shrek. Uh, I think these are pencil toppers. We have all these different ones. These are commons. I like when they do this. I want to have a crack at getting a rare. There's a limited edition Sparkle Poppy. That's probably the worst character out of all of these you could make limited edition. I'm praying for a glow-in-the-dark Shrek. All right, let's see who we get. Come on. That's nothing. Kung Fu Panda. Does he have his eyes closed, or has someone absorbed his soul? Jack Black, everybody. Stick it on a pencil. Shove whatever this is up his ass. There you go. That's a feature. Next, we have a throwback, I think. I think we've opened something of this before. Uh, the Grocery Gang. This is the Bug Strike version. They come in mini toilets, because young boys like gross stuff still. Do you reckon they've done, like, updated market research, or is this what little boys are into? The trash pack! 
All right, let's pop the dunny open. And that's, is that meant to, okay. We've just got excess. Oh no, there's things in there. Ooh, three different plastic cases to choke as many fish as possible. You couldn't just put it all in one. All right, I'm so glad you fully wrapped this shit colored Uzi. All right, we have a boot. It looks like he's joined a gang. And we have... <sighs> yeah. So I guess these items tie in somehow. If you can get him to hold that, they can sort of fight. He wants to club him to death. And I think this is literally a gun. <laughs> Next! This is something I'm actually interested in. We have a value pack. Tops Garbage Pale Kids. Oh, the horrible! Um, you've got a vampire baby about to... Oh no, he is... He's actually going to town there. There's blood. Look for exclusive purple stickers and panoramic sketch cards. Randomly inserted. Ooh, okay. And you get 22 sticker cards, plus two exclusive 80s stickers. That really does seem like a lot of decent value. I really wanted to do a Garbage Pail episode, like opening a full booster box of Garbage Pail Kids, whatever it may be. Uh, let me know below if that's something you're interested in after seeing this. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Look at the art. It's pretty cool. I actually like it. We've got Rob Bot. We've got Moth Manuel. So I guess, do we get uh, different characters and then they always interchange them with different uh, costumes sort of thing? I don't really know how Garbage Pail works. We've got uh, Leprechaun. These are creepy. They um, remind me a lot of Goosebumps books artwork. Got Ring Leader, we've got Ravaged Rose, we have Legendary Gary, okay? Couldn't put the devil on a card or something, you couldn't write that out, he's legendary. Uh, Bent Ben, Evil Eddie, we've got Wrapped Ron, that's uh, got a, I'm not sure if it's a rare or something, it's got a different kind of border to it, then this one has a different border, and then this one has a different border, and then this, are these, the weird sticker ones, I don't know, Gassy, we've got uh, Stepped On, Stefan, we've got Altered Andre, then we have, that's just a house, and then we've got three Headley, and then we have in 3D. That's a lot. You get a lot. Actually pretty cool, and you can peel them off. They are stickers. I'll let you guys decide below. Every time I get stickers, should I stick them in the background, or is that distracting? It looks awful, obviously, but the background's already very dirty. And just so you know, this is a desk, not a wall. A lot of people, uh... Confused, saying that's the wall, it's the desk. Just a little insider tidbit. Yeah. Alright, up next, what do we have? We have Play Mobile, ages 5 and up, series 11. They've been going long enough. I think I've seen these toys before. Sort of look like a mix between uh, Lego and Roblox. Let's take a look at who we get. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of parts. Okay, so we'll put his head in. He gets two heads for some reason. Shove his legs on, put his arms on, he's falling to bits, and he has this kind of cool electric guitar that actually has a stretchy strap. Not worth my time. I'm much more excited to get into more Ryan's Toy World. Series 1 mystery figure with it's Oh my god, guys! They've thrown in a free accessory! Okay, let's see what Ryan has in store for us today. Ooh, he's in a nice little tube. He looks like a race car driver. All right. They're actually pretty good quality for what they are, I guess, kind of. He's got, I think this is supposed to be a trophy. Just so you know, this is the accessory. Next, we've got, this is a mess. What am I supposed, where is my eye supposed to go on this? Nesters, series one exclusive pop art collection, pop art exclusive. Okay, small petite pop art. Mix and match, medium, cube, is- I feel like a robot made this. Did you just feed a bunch of DC characters and words from the English language into AI? And shit this out? Okay. You've gone too far. I've seen enough. This isn't a thing. A child doesn't want- What is this thing? I'm s- I'm ha Guys. Please. I- <sighs> Okay? Okay? This is hilarious. This is just... They've just... It's so absurd. I guess they're, they're kind of like Russian nesting dolls, except they're cubes. 
Maybe you can get an even bigger one that encompasses this one. There was an attempt. Next, what do we have here? Ooh, I like the holographic bag. I don't like erasers. I never like when something is an eraser or sits on top of a pencil. Hot pups. Got a bunch of sexy dogs in here. Apparently, oh no, they're, yeah, there we go, hot dogs. Gotta put choking hazard on there, but then make them look extremely delicious. All right, let's see what hot dog we get. We have a Dalmatian. Ooh, ooh, they're all rubbery. Oh, of course, there are razors. I guess, yep, this it seems like a very complicated eraser. How would you really use this? So big and bulky. So there's the dog. You wrap him up. This looks like his innards, but I guess it's sauce that sits on his back. You add the slice of onion. Got to make sure you get your greens. Chuck that on there. Then feed that to a child. Next! Mini booze. Collectibles hand painted. Ooh, that's interesting. Got all these different ones. Hand painted? I'll be the judge of that. Let's take a look. Orange trash bag. This time. What do you mean? What do you mean? What kind of slave child labor is uh, using to... What? What's the point? This just looks like a hunk of shit. Unless you mean like the nostrils have just been dabbed on with a paintbrush and the smile, I guess. Gotta make sure you put your brand logo on the toy itself. Really drive that into the child's brain. One of the most ugly things you've ever seen. Next. Ooh, another Modge Modge. Let's take a look. Moment of truth. We have, yes, I was hoping to see another one of these. These aren't the worst. I mean, I don't understand it, but that is uh, mildly satisfying and looks very clean. Look how, like that, that's a nice visual. I'll give you that much. He's like a little astronaut peeking out into the world. All right, we're nearly done here. We have a another Ryan's Toy Reviews, Ryan's World. Actually, no, we'll, we'll save him. We've done a Ryan too soon. We've got, uh, Acute but deadly. Series 5 Overwatch Edition. So I guess they make a bunch of different series. This one does not look the worst. This could be kind of good. Oh, it's a big bag. Here we go. What character do we get? I don't play Overwatch. I don't think I'll know. Is that gr is that the Reaper? I think his name is. And he's in his one of his white costumes. Pretty decent quality. It's a big box. I guess Blizzard kind of maybe doesn't over license their stuff to super cheap companies like some of these other ones. Or maybe they do, but this one's not half bad. Next! <laughs> That's right! It's LOL! Surprise! Lil Sisters! 35 to collect. We've got double wrapping. This is very difficult wrapping. It's like triple wrapped. Come on, why? Okay, we've got a naked baby on the front. Touchdown, they're saying vague sports phrases. Still got to finish off the wrapping. Legitimately, three layers of plastic. And we've got a sports ball, then you crack that open. I guess you could use that as a ball or something. And we've got more wrapping on the inside, of course. First we'll open bag number one, and we have a small child. Stop winking at me. What on earth could we have in container number two? A giant, it's like the Mario thing. Like this clearly doesn't go on the baby. It's like you can just buy it and give something else a hat. Damn Snorlax, you're looking fresh. Up next, we've got a Mighty Bean. We've opened these on the channel before, a couple of times actually. I remember these, we've got like a collectible outer case that can be all sorts of different uh, things. We've got this disgusting orc and then we open him up and we should have two beans inside. What's it gonna be? We've got number 64, the foot brawler. And we've got number 38, lobster, mighty bean. He's got problems. All right, I think we're down to the last two. Let's see what Ryan we get. Ah, wait a minute. So. This one is actually Pirate Ryan. It's so strange. And this is just like a fan of Pirate Ryan. Vanilla Ryan, who is a Pirate Ryan fan. He's got all his merch. Let's see what mystery Ryan we get. Oh! Iron Man Ryan! That's pretty cool. Or is he meant to be a robot or something? Kind of cool metallic red. 
Listen, I know I have, like, obviously a hoarding problem, but I will not stoop this low that I'm going to try to collect all Ryan variants. Last of all, we have, uh, well, I guess it's the last five, really. Five different toys inside this bowl by Zuru. Alright, let's see. Oh, this is like a, I think this actually does something. We take the top off. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like um, an orange with each slice containing a toy. That's a very interesting and innovative design. Getting five toys though. I'm sure they all suck. All right. Yep, just a little rubbery thing. Just like you'd see with anything. It's an evil pterodactyl. Next up. That's kind of neat. That's It's got a very rough, actually feels like a deck. I feel like the wheels don't work very well, though. A lot of weird variation with these. What's the bet that this company had all these different toys on shelves as individual things and they were just looking to move a bunch of their garbage stock? So they're just like, ah, just shove them all into one thing. Make it a mystery ball. Um, I remember these things when I was younger. Still making these. I don't know what that's supposed to be, a caterpillar. You, you put them on your arm like that and then you take it off and you're like, hey, look, a, ca a caterpillar. We've got a dinosaur. Maybe an ant, a bug, an another bug. All right, what's the last piece? We have, ooh, a very angry fish. Cool. Why does he have a slice? Is he supposed to move? He can open up his jaw, kind of. How is, what is this supposed to, oh. Why? Why, is this, what? Wow, that was so good. So good, I am going to <coughs> throw in a bonus one. This one was marked down from 25 to $12 on a Christmas special. Who knows what year that was. Some big Pokemon thing. We've got a bunch of different fellas in here. We have the strong pig, the assertive mole, the dumb fish, which has been sitting in its case too long. The elastic bands that hold it together have left imprints. And of course, Charizard with one of his wings falling off. Don't worry, Charizard. I've got a backup wing for you. There you, there you go, pal. In fact, take that off. Give you a little upgrade. That could pass, I reckon. All right, guys. Um, ooh, he sort of looks like a different Pokemon entirely if you take his wings off. What about if you remove his legs? Wow. Now he looks like a fish Pokemon. Fish Zard! Fish Zard! Alright guys, it's time to open up our Burning Shadows. We've got one more in here. Let's see what we get this time. Whoops! It's gonna be nothing. Was not supposed to do that. One, two, three to the front. Getting rid of the water energy. We have Thick Wick, Surviper. On the end of this one, we have Araquanid. That's the reverse, and the end's just gonna be a generic card. And now it's time for Max Mofo's Postcard Collection! We have been opening up these 1999 ones, which I've been getting a, a little bit of joy out of. So let's see what one we have today. Some absolute banger art. These are so nice. A happy new year. You'll have to trust me, but I haven't seen any in that stack. Every time I flip one around, I'm really looking at it for the first time. These are so nice. This was an absolute bargain of a buy. Uh, we've got a Psyduck actually stuck in the volcano up there. Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have posted a new Pokemon sword over on the gaming channel. You can check that out. And I will see you guys on the next episode.